Okay, Dan, and uh, everybody out there, I know that your time is very valuable to you, and I really appreciate you uh, coming. I want to thank Dan and Ashley for having me here today. I assume you can see my screen and you can hear me okay? So that's my first question for everybody. Uh, if you can hear me, please let me know. Dan, I assume we're okay and I'll get cracking. Okay, good. I'm starting to see a few people down there. I'm going to have to figure out how to make these questions bigger <laughs> when the time comes. So basically, um, all my life, I was a musician, I was a retailer, um, but I always was dabbling in the market and trading in the market, and I was always attracted to news. And anytime I ever traded the news, I lost money. It never failed. No matter what I did, I would lose, I would, I would, uh, just lose money. I, I couldn't stop doing it. And then all of a sudden I discovered this product that changed the way I do everything. And that's the uh, J-O-B-B software. And that's really what I'm here to present today. So I promise if you give me your time, I'll teach you about news trading. Um, all the people have always said, never trade the news, always wait till the news is over, the news will kill you. And that's not really the case. The, the case is that trading the news is very viable. As long as you have a system in place, you have tight stops, and the idea is to trade it in a way where most of it is taken out of your hands so that you're not in a panic state when you're trading the news. And that's what J-O-B does. It's automatic software. I would call it almost, I would, I would probably call it semi-automatic software because what it does is gets you into the trade uh, but you have to handle getting in and out, getting out of the trades. So, of course, I have to show you the risk disclosure. You have to realize that trading futures, you can lose more money than you put into an account. And just be aware that it can be risky. And this is by law that we have to show this. We are not a trading ad, uh, advisor. We're an educator. So keep that in mind as well. This will be my agenda for today. Um, uh, it was a very difficult decision for me to decide if I was gonna do the typical PowerPoint thing or if I wanted to just show you some videos, but I'm pretty excited because this is a product that I'm like you guys and girls out there. I am a normal person. I'm not a professional trader uh, that, you know, is, is the typical professional trader who that's all I did my whole life. I was a user that's, I was a J O B B member and I just got so involved in being a member that, uh, I made them hire me. I just wouldn't stop bugging them and bugging them. And because I'm so passionate about news trading. So I think the first thing is what a lot of people don't even really understand what news trading is. And basically essentially news trading is, uh, what happens is instruments become volatile the second that a report is released. Governments, agencies have scheduled reports that they release throughout the week, throughout the day, throughout the month, um, and they show you where these reports are going to be on various websites like Forex Factory. Uh, they'll show you on investing.com. Those are two of the best sites that I'll use, and I'll show you in a little bit how I use those sites, and we'll get into that as well. Um, just to show you a little bit about the people that we're involved with, we're a small company. Eric Spiker is one of our managing partners. He's Now he's actually living in Florida, just got married, has a little baby. Really nice people working for this company. Jay is the, the genius behind all of the reports that we get. He lives in Pearl Harbor. Uh, Hawaii. He's got three kids. You can see that. I don't have to tell you everything, but he's, he's the guy who comes up with all the reports, all of the things that we decide to trade. Although one of the jobs that I've decided I wanted to take part in was finding new things to trade. And Jay's been pretty open to that and letting me run with that a little bit. So I'll show you a few of those things that I found that are interesting. This is me. Um, like everyone said, I was a musician. I still am a musician and I'm also a trader now and I do everything at the company. I'll do everything and anything. I'll do tech support. I'll help you get set up if you need help setting up the program. I'll, I'll give you a coaching call if you want a coaching call. 
Um, I like to do anything and I really enjoy all of this. So I'll happily do anything you want me to do. So again, news trading is dependent upon releases. Like you know, for argument today, uh, at 10.30 this morning, the oil report, the energy report was released and that covers crude oil, you get gasoline, you get a whole bunch of different things that, that are covered. And here's a fascinating graphic that one of our traders, one of our members sent to me today. Just before I came on the air, he sent me this. This is a live Ninja Trader trade. He made $660 trading the crude oil report. You can see uh, the way that Ninja works. If you understand Ninja, when you have a white screen, that's a real live trade. So I was really impressed. Yesterday, uh, I was fooling around and there's a report that comes out that I like to look at. And I traded that report. And uh, that was 123 bucks. And actually, that's the wrong picture. That's another member who sent us a report, a crude report that he traded, made $123. The, the uh, report that I traded, if I can find it, this should be it. I hope, or am I showing you the same thing? I'm showing you the same thing. Let me find my graphic. Uh, here it is. And yesterday, I apologize. I have so many pictures on my screens. I'll find it in a second. Uh, at 4.30, there is a report that comes out on Tuesdays that uh, is a worthwhile oil report to trade. And I traded that live and made $140 with the program. So the program absolutely unequivocally works. It's easy to use. It uses NinjaTrader. This is an example of what a report looks like on Forex Factory. This is a sample of the reports that we get virtually every day. What will happen is in your mail the day before the news item is going to hit, a report will come to you and you'll be able to see what the possibility is for the report. And I'll get into explaining that a little bit better. I want to show you something called a weekly report because this is probably the key report that we get. This is how you start your week. Okay, you get this weekly, we call them HIRAs. Uh, and it basically will show you all of the trades that we have going, going for the week. This happens to be January. So on Sunday, you can see we have two Chinese reports. On Monday, we have a British report, a US report. And in parentheses, it shows you the instrument that we trade. So for instance, on Sunday, we're trading copper. On Monday, we're trading the pound. We're also trading the yen, which is 6J. We're also trading the Australian dollar, which is the Australian cash rate report. Uh, again, on Tuesday, you've got the pound. Wednesday, we, we have crude oil always, so it's CL. Uh, we just added the DAX, which is FDAX, so you have to have a special data feed in order to do the DAX, and I can get into that, or I can ask questions about that if you ask me. Uh, okay, so the key, the first step, is you go through the weekly HIRA, which shows all of the reports that we're gonna get for that week. So that's the weekly HIRA. And then just to show you a sample of a daily HIRA, a real one, uh, this is the natural gas HIRA. And this one was in February, so it's pretty current. Uh, the way that it works is Jay comes up with these. He, he researches and then he puts a lot of text in. So in, 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 for instance, he'll explain, you know, trade with caution. It's rated, it has a risk of five. That's our riskiest report. He shows what we're trading, natural gas, the date. Uh, the instrument is natural gas and then the contract, 316. Uh, at that time is what we were trading. Then he talks about what has happened, say for the last 10 reports, the last 25 reports. He talks about peaks. Um, a peak is, let's say the report is released, then what happens is you get a peak often, not always, 
but this just shows what commonly happens, okay? So you might get 64 ticks, you might get an average second peak of 108 ticks, and then very often on reports we get reversals. Then also he gets into what happened the last reports that took place. Natural gas is a weekly report, so you're gonna get a lot of last reports. So in this case, we have our last 10. We had three spikes and reverses. That's what that means. We had four second peaks. We had zero dull and three indecisive. What an indecisive is, is when, uh, I'll show you how our system works when you see some videos, but we actually put the trade on screen and indecisive means that we didn't enter the trade. Nothing really happened much after the report was, removed, was, was released. So we might very possibly have actually canceled that trade and not even traded that report, okay? So that's pretty straight ahead. Let me see if I can see your questions. For some reason, Dan, I'm not seeing the questions. There must be a way to make them bigger. But I'm not seeing, uh, I see somebody said API last night gave you a heads up on crude. You know, it's interesting that you say that. I find that the API has very little, it's interesting, very little relationship to what the Wednesday crude report will be. They're often very different. But what I do find and what I'm noticing lately is that when that API report is released and it's very strongly bullish, say for instance, I find that the next, almost invariably the next morning when I wake up, oil's been very bullish all night long and into the next day. So I'm sort of looking into uh, some different kinds of trades uh, in, in maybe going in a certain direction after that happens. Uh, we talk about, you know, why futures. Futures give you leverage. They're easy to trade. There's an exchange. A lot of people don't like Forex because a lot of people feel that the brokers are trading against you. I'm not a Forex trader. I've done a little bit of Forex trading. I've never had a big problem trading Forex. I've, en I've enjoyed it personally. Um, we have some bonuses. I'll get into that stuff later because we don't really need to do that now. We did make you a promise um, when we booked this webinar that we were gonna show you that Eric really increased his account dramatically when he started trading this system. So he did give real brokerage accounts that he let me show you. If you look here, he started out with a balance of $2,200, okay? And then uh, it's now up to $3,700. If you look at the dates, you can see that this is real. He's now up to $5,000 the same day. And now he's into May, he's up to $11,000, okay? And then uh, he eventually got it up to 20. But I don't wanna lie, there are people, it, it, it's not easy to trade, you have to spend the right amount of time, you have to put, put your time in, learn how to do it properly. And what we came up with to make it easier to trade the news is we developed two different ways to trade the news. So we actually have two programs almost. We have a trap trade. We have two types of trades. We have a trap trade and we have a breakout trade. A breakout trade is very simple. Um, today, for instance, when I showed you that picture of the oil, if I show it to you again, if you look at it, uh, at 1030, oil popped up. So you could see that that we would call a breakout. It also happened today that oil reversed rather quickly too. So what's interesting, it probably would have worked on our trap trade. Uh, the way that the trap trade works and the whole concept behind the trap trade is what we want to happen is see, this is 1030 when the report was released. A trap trade, what we want to happen is for the price to pop up and then we want it to reverse exactly like oil did today. So we would get filled on the way up and then we would make profit on the way down and exit on the way down, okay? So that I'll show you 
a little bit more later about the trap trade. We have, of course, a members area on our website. You know, we're like any other company. You can go to our website. You can learn. There's videos. There's a two-hour educational video that's absolutely fabulous that will teach you almost everything that you need to know about how to use our software. And the key is to take the time, of course, and watch the videos. That's always critical. You have to spend the time, put the time in. If you put the time in, you can absolutely make money in the market. And, you know, what is the value of this program? The value of using uh, this program to trade the news is that it takes, for one, it takes the manual aspect out of trading the news. What's going to happen is, and I'll show you again once I'll get through this, uh, a little bit of this PowerPoint, it'll automate trading the news. So that's the greatest thing that it does. The other great thing about using our system is because you get a weekly uh, report, you could set up your schedule so you don't have to watch the market every day, every second. You don't have to care almost what the market's doing. Um, you can come in half an hour before you know you're you're ready to trade and get yourself set up so that if you work a regular job, you could also use our software because you'll have time to just come in and just trade the news and you'll have a very set schedule of what reports that you might want to trade. Uh, we're also because our reports are rated. You could start out by just trading the simpler, less risky reports. And then as you get more experience, you can move, move ahead and trade the more uh, risky reports, like crude oil. Crude oil, because it's a volatile instrument, is definitely one of our riskier reports. Natural gas is one of our riskier reports. Natural gas, you have a lot of slippage, so you have to be prepared to deal with that. Uh, some of the things, other things that we do as a company that are great is I started making a video of the day for them. I wanted them to do that. I answer emails really fast. I thought that was important. We have a live chat room where you can come. You can, can come and see what happens uh, during the trade. I go hang around in the chat room and talk to people. And then we're also working on a new chat room and we're pretty excited i think we're going to bring maybe even as soon as friday we might have a new trading room set up if not friday it'll be very very shortly after that um so those are some of the nice things about our company we have a lot of support of course you can email us we'll f give you feedback on the trades and then every couple of weeks we have a webinar called a forensic webinar where jay comes online and he'll go over every single trade that we worked on that two to three weeks since the last webinar. And we'll talk about the trade, we'll talk about the entry of the trade, how the trade went, whether it was a winner or a loser, where you might have entered, uh, just ways and strategies you can use, things like that. So that's very use of, use, useful. Um, you can read this. You can see some of the things that I set up for you. There's people that, uh, you know, if you trade bonds and you trade a lot of contracts and you get really uh, comfortable, you know, you can make a lot of money on a single trade. Uh, let's be honest. Is everybody going to make $25,000 on a single trade? Probably not. The average person, you know, you'll trade one or two contracts to start. You'll make four to $500 on trades. Uh, and you know, that's, that's pretty good. You know, you get started and, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So let's look and take a look at how the system works. Basically what I'd like to do to start is I think I'll show you one of the videos that I prepared for you. Everybody loves trading crude oil. It's just one of those things that people love to do. So March, we had a really good month trading crude oil. So we used NinjaTrader, and you know that the software is set up properly because you'll get our icon will show up 
that tells you that the software is activated. Also, if you notice in the Ninja Control Center, you'll have an enable check that also comes up. Now, what happens with crude is we have a report that comes for crude and it tells us that we use a bracket of 10 ticks and you'll see what I mean when we're talking about it. And we also use a stop for crude of 15 ticks. And the way that the software works, so you understand what I mean when I say it's semi-automated, is what it does, it will put the brackets on the screen for you. So in other words, it puts the trade, it gets the trade set for you. Here's an example. So we know, I'll get this going here, right here. I'm sorry, I went a little bit too far. Let's let this go. Uh, right here, if you see, these X's are, are buys, okay? And we've set up, I set up this particular crude report, this crude trade, it's gonna buy two at $40.67, and it's gonna sell two at 40, 47, okay. So depending on what the report does, the report is roughly 10, 29, 57, three seconds before the report is released with crude, that's when we put our brackets on screen. So what'll happen in three seconds, the report gets released. You can see that what happened is crude shot down. It went through our bracket our target, and not our target, it filled, it filled, it took us out on our first target, which was set at 15, and it left our second target in, okay, our second position in, I mean, and then depending on how you decided to trade that, <clears throat> excuse me, it will determine where you get in or get out this particular trade and I did show this, to be honest, I'm showing this particular trade as a sim because I was doing some testing. There's some live, what I showed you previously was live. Uh, but you could see that crude clearly shot down, filled our first position, took us out for $150 profit. And then it was getting very close to our second target and moved it up slightly and took us out. Okay, so you wound up with a simulated 450 to be honest and to be transparent uh with sim if you made half of that that's much more honest because sim does not fill uh the way that real trades does and especially with crude so i want to be truthful that you would not have made 450 on that trade you would have had a profitable trade but uh you might have made half of that to be honest Okay, so you understand, you can see how that trade works. Now, what I do, one of the things that I do is I'm always looking for exciting, interesting new trades. And I have been looking at Canada and their GDP because I think the Canadian GDP is an unquestionably a worthwhile report to trade. And it comes out at 8.30, so I started looking at it at 8.15. Uh, this is a free utility called Topmost Clock. I don't know if you're familiar with it. You can Google Topmost Clock and download it for free. And what I discovered is Canadian GDP, this is live data that I did this testing on, now you can see I'm less than a minute away from this report. Um, what I did is I set it up so that it would trade and put our brackets on three seconds. Actually, when I do my own testing, I put the, bra I put the brackets on the uh, screen one second before the report hits. Uh, and can Canadian GDP, in my opinion, is an exciting, exciting new report that I'm gonna to talk to Jay about possibly adding it to our arsenal. In five seconds, you can see what's gonna happen here. You'll see the brackets will show up. Okay, so we get our brackets. 
So these are our, that's our buy. This is our sell. Canadian GDP, I remember was bullish. Tremendous explosion to the upside. Took us out for 360 in this test. So again, because I was testing this, it would have taken you out. You would not have made a true 360 because it is simulated. This, the point of this was looking for new trades, which is one of the things that I do. It's one of my functions. And the way that you have to find new trades, now this is my live ninja. The way that you find new trades is by using the software, obviously, to set up on various different instruments, okay? So there are many, many, many reports that are interesting to see. Another great report that we like to trade is the grain report. Now, this is the HIRA, the high impact report. We call it a high impact report that we get. Uh, bear with me. And basically, there was a quarterly report that just took place uh, about a week and a half ago on grain. And with grain, we like to trade corn. And Jay sent out our Hira on the grain stocks. It's a 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's similar. I don't know if you're familiar with the WASD report. The WASD is a monthly record, report that we trade as well. Uh, there's a quarterly report that does plantings and it tends to move very well with grains. We trade corn because corn tends to be the most stable. We like to use a six tick bracket, a 15 tick stop. And the last bunch of reports have been very, very successful. As you can see, uh, I'll show you how this last report went. I need to find it real quick. And I want to make sure I don't put audio on it. So this was a report, again, took place at 12 noon. So as we get close, again, you make sure that you have your icon, you know that you're ready to, to trade. So we're about 45 seconds away over here, not quite. Now we're about 20 seconds, 25. It's very exciting, um, and it takes a lot of the fear out of your hands because it puts the targets, the brackets, on, on this, on the, into the program so that you don't have to fumble around. Okay, so here you've got your setup. This is where you're going to get in. This is how you're going to trade. So what happens is the grain reports released. It's a very successful report. The, the concept is this. It's really not very complicated. When you trade news, what we want to happen for it to be a successful news trade, we want the news to move particularly in one direction. We want it to jerk down or we want it to jerk up. If the move goes up and down, if the news goes up and down, that's what we don't want to happen because that will usually stop us out because it'll go up, it'll go down, and it'll not continue. Here, you could see that the grains continue moving. They take us out when they hit our target, and then we move our stop. You can then move your stop down. Our first target took us out for $125. The second target, right now the money is unrealized. What you would do is move this down like it's doing in the video. And you would rather than, you know, you, you, it, what happens is you gotta be careful if you move your price too close to exactly where the price is, it will suck you out of the market. That's what the market tends to do, so you wanna be careful. But the grain reports have been very, very successful reports for us. They make a lot of money on a regular basis. As you can see, this report would have been very successful because you see how it 
does exactly what we want it to do. It jerks down in one direction. That allows you to get taken out, and then it allows you to move your stop slowly uh, to the, whatever direction it moved to, and it lets you get out of the trade with a nice fat profit. And that's what this particular corn trade did. It was a simulated 462. Again, even though it's simulated, you would have easily made $200 on that trade because of the way that trade moved. So it's pretty exciting. You could see there was not a lot of panic in trading that trade. Now, I'd like to give you a quick example of what a trap trade looks like. This is just a sample, but I just want to let you see. Uh, I apologize. This is me just showing a picture, which is not the way I wanted to do it. I want to show you an actual real trap trade which is what this is going to do here. And the trap trade, so you can see the way, what the concept is. This was an Australian report, okay? Uh, doesn't matter that it's old or new. The idea is what it does. A trap trade has what's called tiers. It sets up usually one or two, most commonly two. It'll always have stops. And this particular trap trade has tiers that you're allowed to choose between seven and 10 ticks. And your tier two, it allows you to choose between 15 and 16. That's up to you. Most commonly, people will probably choose nine ticks and I would choose 15 or 16. I would choose 16 personally. And you'll see what I mean as soon as we get to the screen. Okay, so the trap trade, it'll do, the idea is we want it to, it'll put both the tiers, you see how it puts the tiers on the screen that we chose, and then what we want it to do, we want it to either fill those or fill those and then change direction, okay, so that after it fills them, it will give us a profit. You understand, I hope, that I'm being clear. As you see the way that this works, I think it'll make it clear. What happens is the report's gonna get released and then what's gonna happen, it's gonna move in the direction of our tiers. It's gonna hit the tiers, fill them, and then it's gonna change direction and move in, in the other direction. And because it has filled our tiers in one direction, okay, here we go. It filled our direction long and then it reversed. And what it does is it gives us, after we give it time, you gotta let these reports breathe. It went the opposite way from what the original fill was. I wanna make sure that you see that it went the opposite way, it's gonna now move up. Okay, move down, I'm sorry, and give us some profit, hopefully. So the idea with the trap trade is to fill in one direction and then change and go in the other direction, okay? That's the idea and that's how you make your profit. You fill long and then it moves short. So that's how you get your profit. Am I, I hope I'm being very clear, okay? That's, that's how the trap trade, the idea of the trap trade works. The trap trade is great for bank reports. It's great for FOMC minutes, which are coming up today. What tends to happen with the FOMC minutes is they will move up and then they'll move down. So that's very helpful. And actually uh, one of our real trades, one of the real recent data trades is this.
just so you understand, on the trap trade so that you're protected, we have emergency stops that are placed on the uh, chart. Let's say the worst thing in the world happens and you get a report that just moves all the way in one direction, then at least you're not stuck forever in the trade. You're going to take, get taken out when the emergency stop is hit. Now, the other important thing that I want to explain about a trap trade is we set trap trades up based upon support and resistance in the market. Now, what that means is if you look at this chart, we've got moving averages that are very strong support. So we also have the high of the day. So unfortunately, we're too far from the high of the day to move our tiers to be there, okay? But we're not too far to put our tier right above uh, the moving averages, okay? And we could also theoretically, if we wanted to, we have midpoints, S2 mid, S2. You might wanna put your uh, buy right under the resistance or the support. This happens to be the low of the day. But the key with the trap trade is to put your tiers at the proper, and proper is subjective, but you wanna put your tiers at a good position of support and or resistance so that you get filled, so that you get filled well. That's the key, you wanna get filled well, okay? This particular trade, what I was saying there before this trade jerked up is I moved the target, uh, one of the tiers, to right under the low of the day, okay? Which makes sense because if we're going to get filled, we want the market to break the low of the day. We don't want to make everything so easy for the market. We want to make it so that if it happens, we're going to, it's going to be worthwhile to be at that spot. Okay. So this report is making us a problem because what happened is it filled us short and then it reversed and went up. And that's what we want a trap trade to do. That is the most important thing that we want trap trades to do. Now, we had a very interesting, uh, I think I can show this properly. Uh, two days ago, there was a trade, the Royal Bank of Australia had their rate statement, which is a little bit of a tricky report to trade, but we trade it all the time because it's a great report. And depending on how you would have placed your targets and your stop, that would have made you either profitable or not on this particular trade. And it was very fascinating in my opinion. Uh, so the first thing to do is you wanna look and see, well, what, what's the setup? What's the settings? And the settings are, we have two tiers and they're pretty big. Look how big they are, 35 ticks for tier two and 22, as much as 22 ticks for tier one, we have a 20 tick stop because this is a pretty uh, active moving report. It you, usually, this report moves pretty big. So uh, what's interesting is the first set of targets and stops I put in one place and what happened was, and what makes it interesting, is the second time that I actually traded the report, I moved the targets to a different place. I moved them up under here, which was under support and resistance, and got filled. If you could see here, with a trap trade, if we don't get filled within 30 seconds, we cancel the report. And the reason for that is the whole idea of the trap trade is if it doesn't jerk up and jerk down fast, generally it's not gonna do it. So we don't wanna be in the trade because it's not gonna work the way we want it to work. A breakout trade, 
totally different. It breaks up quick, it breaks down quick. You know that the trades work and you're in and out of the trade rather quickly. With the trap trade, if it doesn't work within 20 to 30 seconds, we generally wanna cancel the trade and get out of the trade uh, and not be in the trade because uh, it didn't work. The idea is we want it to jerk real quick. So in this particular instance, if I remember correctly, let's look and see what happened. I'm gonna move ahead a little bit. Um, we really didn't get filled because if you look um, at the report, it's 12.30, it's already 40 seconds past when the report was released and were not filled. So this would have been a cancel. So let's look at what happened though when I changed the way that I traded this report. What I did was I moved my targets and I put them, watch, I put it underneath support and resistance rather than underneath the low of the day. And that changes everything. So you have to think real hard about where you're gonna put your support and resistance with the trap trade. Uh, sometimes it'll just fill you because of where you're located. And in this particular case, the trap trade filled us. And because of that, we made some money, if you can see, and we were able to get out of the trade profitably because of where we were filled. So it's important to think about where your settings are. You can see we did make money, would have made money on that trade depending on where we would have been filled. So I personally like breakouts the best. Breakouts are quick. Oil trades tend to be more of a breakout type of trade. Natural gas tends to be more of a breakout type of trade. Your grain trades tend to be more of a breakout kind of trade. So I like them because I like to be in and out of a trade quick. Um, I don't like to sit in the trades very long. That GDP trade that I showed you on Canada, that is a breakout. I don't need to listen to myself, but you can see if I show you, this explosion is a breakout. And I like breakouts because they get you in and out of a trade rather quickly. And I would prefer that. It's much, much better for me because I'm the type of trader that likes to be in and out of a trade rather quickly. I don't want to sit in a trade. I don't want to baby the trade. And I don't want to watch it. It's just, it's too painful. Now, one of the interesting things about our software, and I think one of the fun things about it, is if you're a lunatic and like me, and you like to trade various different contracts, you can use the trade just to find new trades. And it's easy to use, easy to do. You can just set it up. You could set up a breakout. This is live, this is oil right now. And right now our time is 1 p.m. You could uh, set it for three, if you're a nut and you think oil's gonna, I just think oil's bullish, okay? And you're positive that oil's bullish and you're a lunatic. You could just basically do nothing, just turn the report on, set it so you have a very small bracket. I've got just a bracket of three. So if oil is bullish, if it moves three, in either direction, we're gonna get taken into the trade. So if you're a lunatic, you can see my, my stops are on the chart if it were a time that oil was very bullish and you thought it was gonna move and it might take you in, which looks like it's gonna take us in right now. If you want to, you could just theoretically move it down a tick, get taken in. I'm now long two. My stop is down here. I could bleed out risk. Um, I could see what's gonna happen. Um, I think, you know, I wasn't really thinking necessarily that oil was bullish today. I was just showing you that you could use the program in ways that even our founders didn't think of 
of that of people using the program. So it's very, very interesting, this program, how it allows you to make your own trades. It makes you, allows you to find your own things. Uh, it's fascinating. To me, it's fascinating. I, I love finding new trades. That to me is the most enjoyable feature uh, of the program. I'd like to show you, I was gonna show you one more trade and then I was gonna get into some of the other things. People love trading oil. We had a very, forgive me, I wanna put in the oil, the quiet oil trades, which I have for you. Uh, in March, we had very successful oil trades. We were able to trade, uh, I think that three of our, three out of four of our oil trades were profitable in March. We had a great march with oil. And if I could find them, I would be doing a heck of a lot better, wouldn't I? So let's see if I can find them. Give me 30 seconds, not even. I should have no audio version. Here we go. No audio oil in March. You can see it's what's fun about oil, again for me, is they break out. I love the fact that oil breaks out. And it's a lot of fun to watch it. You can see it, the, ta the, the target to put on screen and boom. That would have been a blast to the downside. Took me out for a $400 profit. The second trade, what I do here is, as you know, if you trade and you're not live, if I'm looking and testing, one of my jobs here is I have to test uh, trades, make sure that they're valid. Or if I'm looking for new trades, I have to make sure that the trade was real. I have to make sure the direction is real. And we use the range chart for that. This is the range chart and it allows us to see if you see here at 1030, our bracket of 10 ticks was not broken and we actually had a real movement to the downside. So that was a real trade, a valid trade to the downside. And I have to make sure that I do that and I have the data box that I use to test that. But we want to try to make every effort that we can, of course, whenever you're testing trades, that you give people correct information. Uh, it's critical in this business. So, so then our second trade in uh, March, we had another trade that worked out very nicely, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's really fun to trade oil because it moves so fast. You can see here that oil exploded again in March. And it put our brackets on screen, okay? It, it's semi-automated semi for you, and then boom. Oil went the other way, took us out. And again, I would test it. I'd look at the range chart. I keep the range chart on my screen at all times because I wanna make sure that we have legitimate, real trades. It's very important when I'm talking to members, when I'm saying to them, hey, look guys, gals, we have a new trade, or we have a trade that I was talking about in the video of the day. Uh, and I want to make sure that those trades are legitimate. So I want to, it's very important that we test them and make sure that the information we give is legitimate and correct. It's critical, absolutely critical. So I use the range chart and the one second chart to do that and to make sure that I'm telling people that our reports are correct. This was our third oil trade of the month. It also popped, wasn't quite as good. You could see it was a slower moving report, but in this particular case, uh, oil would have stopped you out. You only made a couple of bucks because what happened is it, it, it jerked up and reversed, made a couple of bucks, but oil does that sometimes. It's still, I don't want to, I want to be transparent. Every trade is not a winner. 
you can't obviously win on every trade. Uh, I'd be a liar if I said that every trade we made was a winner, but we do have a very good track record. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a real exact track record of what we did in the past month, but I will tell you this, almost every time that I look at a trade and don't take it, I wanna shoot myself in the foot for not taking it because it made money. Um, Jay is very smart. He picks good trades to send out every week. Uh, it's very important that users are sent out trades that are gonna be good trades. Uh, we don't wanna send out losers, obviously. So there's certain trades that are really good. Like I explained before, the grain trades are great. The bank statement trades are great. Um, so as you can see, it can be very valuable to trade news. And the key is to mostly automate it. The key also is to mostly keep your stops nice and tight, okay? If your stops are too big and you lose too much money on your trades, then what's the point? You're, gonna, you're not gonna make money. Uh, you have to keep your stops tight, it's critical. In, in any trading system, whether you're trading someone else's trading system, our trading system, if your stops are too big, then unfortunately you're not gonna win. So I wanna show you a couple of things that real members have showed us, have sent to us. Nicholas is a real trader. Last Friday's non-farm payroll report was a very successful report for us. Nicholas made $312. We do have a video, a live video of his trade but he also sent a screenshot. Very, very nice trade for him. Um, our, our, one of our founding members, Eric, sent me a screenshot. He made $695, a live ninja trade. You can see it's real. He got filled short. He made $695 on this trade. That was in literally 30 to 40 seconds and then he was out of the trade. Uh, it's, that's the perfect J-O-B-B trade, the perfect trade. They're not all that way, obviously, but many of them do work out that way. The non-farm last Friday was a fabulous trade. It was just fabulous. Um, and the, far, the last non-farm before that was a, was a very successful trade. Another successful trade that we do is we have a 30-year bond trade. The 30-year bond trade, sorry about that. It's not, a, uh, it's not a by gigantic mover generally, but it's often a profitable trade. At one o'clock, it, it's actually released slightly late. So we have a certain way that we trade this, this report. We trade it at a certain time. It's critical that you know the proper time to trade this report. We get our HIRA, we get our, our instructions on how to trade it. Those instructions tell us where to put our brackets, okay? And then our brackets are filled or not filled, depending on the report. If a report takes too long to fill, you could cancel it by unchecking this little check mark in an emergency. It'll do it instantaneously. So the emergency way to get out of a trade. Sometimes a report will get released early. You can see that the bond report brought us into the bonds live. It brought us into the bonds long with two, a target with two positions. And then you can see what's gonna happen here. This was actually what really did happen in the bond report last, last time. Uh, people made money on this report. They were taken in live. And then what happened is bonds gave you the ability to grab a couple of ticks. It was not a gigantic mover, you could see. A couple of ticks were grabbed. I'll show you. This is generally the way bonds go. Uh, bonds are 30, 30 something dollars per tick. So if you use two contracts, that's $60 per tick. 
you know, if you get a four or five tick move, uh, a 10 tick move is going to give you a $300 profit. Generally, you're not going to get a 10 tick move. You might get four to five, though, pretty easily with bonds. You can see how it goes. And then I check to make sure that the direction is correct on the bond trade. So this particular bond trade, people did make money when we finally started, it's finally started moving in our direction, made a couple of bucks. And last week there was a 30, 30 year, I think it might, it might've been a seven year bond trade. I'm not sure, I forget if it was the 30 or the seven. It was a short, it was profitable, people made money. And we generally, I would say our bond trades are 80% profitable, almost all of them work. They're very, very successful J-O-B-B trades. They, uh, the bond trades, they're also not very stressful because they generally don't move fanatically and crazily. So you have the opportunity to move your stop and your targets. This is a uh, report of what a 30 year bond trade might look like and the way that you might set it up. Uh, what you do is move down to the bonds. Okay, 30 year bond auction. It's a tight stop, five ticks. So that's $150 per contract. It's a three bracket. So three brackets is very small. Okay, the last six reports you can see we had six reports, five that had hit the second peak, our one report that hit a first peak. So our 30 year bond trades, they are my favorite bond reports to trade. They're very profitable, very profitable trades. So I've been talking for an hour. I'm probably, uh, you know, that's a lot of talking to do. I assume some of you have questions. Do you have any questions that you'd like to ask me before I get into our promotions? Anybody want to ask anything? Let me see if I can see the questions. Uh, Dan, are you around? I don't know if he is, because I'm having trouble seeing the questions. Yeah, I'm here. The Lee. data feed. Okay. Yeah, on the right hand um, side of the question box. So to the right of the word questions. Okay, it says see. asker. You'll see two icons. One says undock, and the other one says is an X to close the pane if you hover. Click on the one that says undock. Okay. For some reason, I'm not seeing that, Dan. I don't know why. Uh, I have something that says questions, and it'll make it a full, full screen. So let me see if I can make some sense of this. I'll answer this question first. People are asking about data feeds. What data feed am I using with Ninja? There's a couple of things you can do. Some people use virtual private networks, VPNs, that can get you a better fill. Uh, other people are using, I use Rhythmic. Rhythmic, uh, it's either CQG or Rhythmic if you go through Ninja Trader brokerage. Rhythmic gives a little bit quicker fills. They also have a data feed for the DAX. It's a little bit more expensive than CQG, but the fills are a little bit quicker. quicker. So I like to use that. Uh, one of the questions I'm seeing is for breakout trades, isn't slippage a problem? And that is an absolutely viable question. Slippage can be a problem. There are certain settings that we will use in our reports that will help us with taking advantage of avoiding slippage. So one of the things that we do is we have special settings that we use in our reports. We call them special settings slippage reports. If you say that 10 times, I'll give you a thousand bucks because you can't say it 10 times. But slippage is an issue uh, and it's something that we are aware of and we take care of using special settings that we use in our reports to deal with slippage. Uh, somebody, I'm trying to see if, uh, do we trade gold? Uh, we don't really have, uh, I'm trying to think, I don't think we have any reports right now that do gold. I don't see any reason why you couldn't, couldn't set up your own reports on gold. I mean, I have traded gold myself in the past. So gold is volatile, like crude is volatile. In many ways, to me, trade gold trades a lot like crude. So 
I would say that you could absolutely, you know, trade gold uh, and come up with some reports that you'd like to do with gold. You know, I don't want to forget to thank you, Dan, and thank uh, the people at winvesting.winvest.com for having us on. It's really, really nice of you, and I really appreciate being here. Uh, it's, it, it's something I want to make sure I thank you. Uh, other questions, two seconds isn't a lot of time for first in, first out. So again, they're asking for slippage. Two seconds, uh, it, it's enough time. I mean, two seconds is actually a very long time if you think about it in terms of what happens during, before a trade. I sometimes will set up so that I only have one second before a trade will get, get, get done. Uh, does the Hira show a trap trade? I'm not seeing what that question is, so bear with me here. Dan, I wish I had a way to make this bigger. Let me see if I can, uh, okay, here we go. I figured it out. Does the Hira show a trap trade setup? Absolutely. I think I showed you that right before that we had trap trade Hira's. They show you the tiers, okay? So hopefully I did show you that. And does the high risk show? So we do have special high risk for that. Uh, two seconds isn't a lot of time. I answered that one. Is the clock icon available on Ninja? Yes, that is a free tool that you can use. Here's a bunch of free tools uh, that you can use for trading news that I use. I'll show them to you real quick. Uh, I'm running out of time. So if you just keep this, uh, topmost clock, that's the free tool. Investing.com is where I go for news. Ninja Trader Market Replay is a free is a company that gives you free data uh, for using Ninja Replays. And this one below me is uh, a company, uh, not a company, but this is how I get my crop reports and my grain reports. Okay, so this topmost clock is over here. Uh, that's how you get the topmost clock for free. Okay, so those are some free tools. Um, we have not a lot of time left. Let me make sure I get to all your questions. I enjoyed the job program until the software started to freeze up as soon as the trade set up and the trade took the full stop. Losses quickly exceeded wins. Okay, look, I'm an honest guy. I didn't have to read that question. I read it. Uh, I use this program. I've never had that happen to me. However, anything can happen. So hopefully you stopped trading and you told Jay, our founder, who does that particular type of tech support, uh, I mean, why did you let the losses uh, add up? Stop trading. If you got a situation that's not working, there is a new version now of the job program anyway. I have never had that happen to me. I've certainly been stopped out of traded of trades. I've lost trades. Uh, you know, so I've got to believe that something was going on either in your system, uh, maybe in the program, who knows. But if God forbid, if you have a situation where things are freezing and you're losing money, stop trading. Don't use real money and, and let somebody take a look at it and take care of the problem. Um, we do not have that as a regular problem with anybody. And I want to, you know, if you contact me directly, Lee at joebracketbreakout.net, um, I'll work it out. So we'll give you some free time to use the new software and we want to get you back. We know you can make money with this product. There's no question about it. Someone was asking if we trade the FOMC, the FOMC today, the minutes we do. That's a trap trade setup. It's a pretty successful trade. I'll absolutely be trading that. And that is a two o'clock today. Uh, let me see if I have any other questions that have been coming in. Uh, bear with me, folks. New Ninja. Ninja, you need a pretty good computer to prevent freeze up. So I would say uh, some people are asking if you use trailing stops. You can set it up so that you have trailing stops. There are ways in the program that you can set up different stop settings. There's two ways that you can use the program. I'll show you real briefly because I'm running out of time. This is what setting up the program 
looks like. You could either use your own ATM strategy. So if you want to set up trailing stops, you can do that. Or you could use the strategy internal mode. That's the way that I like to use the program because nowadays, why bother programming and spending all that time to write an ATM strategy when I can pretty much do it right here? I can set my position. I could set my profit targets. If I want to have four positions, I can do it very easily. I could do two here. I could do two for my second position. My profit targets are easy to set here. I could reverse the trade if I'm stopped out, my stop loss. So there are ways that you can set up the trade without using the ATM strategy. But if you want to use your own ATM strategy and trailing stops, no problem. You can do it. Okay. So that's easy to do. I personally like to use a built in ATM strategy. So I've only got a couple of minutes left. I'm going to show you a couple of slides that I promised I would show. Um, normally, what we charge is $197 for the program, and that gives you a month. We think that's pretty fair. Um, obviously, we are in this fantastic webinar, and again, I want to thank you for having me here. How about how we knock 100 bucks off? Would that be awesome? Uh, it's going to end tonight. You got to make a decision. And it's funny, I'm a member of different, I have been a member of different websites. What's the most important thing? You gotta, you gotta make a decision. You gotta make the move. You gotta either do it or not do it. And the biggest thing you gotta do is make the trade or not make the trade. So make the trade, okay? You gotta make the decision. We're only giving you till tonight. That's enough time to make a decision. It's very cheap, 97 bucks, and you get a month of great trading. Okay, it's valid until midnight tonight. Uh, we think that's very fair. Okay, so I'm smiling like a lunatic because I think this is the greatest deal in the world. We've set up a site for you to go to. You go to newjob.info, you use the coupon code WIN, that gets you the deal. You can also go, that's two Bs and new job. If you also go to www.newjob. Uh, what were we? Were we newjob.net on that? Or newjob. Uh, let's find out. Uh, if you could type that in, Dan, maybe newjob2bs.info for people so they know where to go for that. Uh, that would be really nice. And then it's newjob. Dot com, right? Because we had this fantastic. So if you go to newjob.com, you can find all the information about our company, about us, about the programs, about everything you need to know. Um, we generally will teach you We'll set you up if you need it. <laughs> uh, we'll set you up if you need help. Someone said they saw my face at the post office. I don't think that's true, but you never know. Uh, that's very funny. Someone also said 200 a month for a subscription. Um, you never really wind up paying that. The way that it works is uh, we, now the deal that we have is you're only going to pay $97. You're going to get your first month for 97 bucks. And then we have a bunch of different systems that let you, uh, join in at $67 a month after that for one license. It's 97 a month for two. If you want to pay for the whole year, we'll give you a great deal for just 447. That's a fantastic deal. So we're very fair. You know, we like to work with people. Um, we definitely want you as a customer. We want you as a client. We want you to succeed. We want you to do well. We really care about people. We really care about the people that are our users. Um, and we like people. And I especially, I love people. I love people. Someone was asking me if this works on the spot FX chart. George, um, I don't trade spot FX. Um, 
my guess is I don't know. I don't think that that is the right format right now to use for this particular product. So I'm not sure to be honest, but I think it's a no on that one, but I hate to say no without being sure. I would send a, a you know, a, a question into our support, uh, support it, jobbreakout.net and find out uh, what they think. I don't think that that's, you know, what, what, you know, we're definitely not using it for that. That's for sure. Can I show the page with the clock again? I can, that was news tools, and that was some freebies for you. That was this page here. So this is where you're gonna go to get that free clock, okay? So topmost clock, just Google, if you forget, and you just Google topmost clock, and then you'll find the actual company that makes it so you don't wind up downloading junk. Um, that would be fine. So once again, if you do sign up with us, we have some great deals. We're going to send you free reports all week this week, the free HIR, the HIRAs, we call them. Uh, so you want to opt in. Definitely, if you come to our website and just sign up, give us your name and email, we will not you will not get any spam whatsoever. We use a very strict company that makes sure that they don't do anything with your email. And all you'll get is what we tell you we're gonna get, a free special report and some of our higher reports for the week. So you could look at what we do, okay? Uh, newjob.com with two Bs, that's the key. And then people say, you know, I'm not familiar with Ninja. Is it worth the hassle? We have a two hour training on there. Ninja's got a million videos that they teach you. Their tech support is unbelievable. I was not a Ninja user before I learned how to use this product. So very honestly, it's not a problem learning how to use Ninja. I have gone over my limit almost. Dan, I think I've used all my time. Am I correct? I've answered. How long has our company been operating? Someone's asking me. We've been around uh, at least since 2000 and early 2014. So we're not fly by night. We've been around for more than a year. Uh, we've been around for more than two years. And we take what we do seriously. And we have a new version of the trap trade that's almost done. It's coming out very soon. And maybe you could even type in newjob2bs.com, Dan, so people know to go there to get information on our company. That would be awesome. Once again, I want to thank you, Dan and Ashley. Make sure that you stick around to see Ted. Uh, he's got the next webinar, Ted Posevic. He's on after me. Please stick around and stay for him. People work really hard to prepare these presentations for you. And Dan, I'm over my limit, so I'm done. I'm going to stop. I want to thank everybody for giving me your time. I hope you've learned something, that news trading is not scary. You can make money doing it. It's easy to make money doing it. And um, you can reach me at Lee at J-O-B Breakout Job. Bre I, can't, I can't even say it myself. JoeBracketBreakout.net. Lee at JoeBracketBreakout.net. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll be happy to tell you anything you want to know about the product.